Hello, we are the Scotters. We are currently tackling our most ambitious project yet, renovating an old stone house, which we've had to put on pause. Living in our bus during this endeavour has become challenging, prompting us to seek additional space to fully commit ourselves to our dream home. Last year we constructed a storage barn from scratch and we're now excited to turn it into a beautiful temporary home for our family. It's a daunting challenge, but we're determined to make this a reality. Badger, talk to me. What are you doing? <laughs> just Tell me everything. I'm putting cladding on. Oh, run out of nails. Try to get a bit of cladding on. Try, run out of nails. So the plan for this wall here is we are going to ship lap it. Is that right? No. Well, we're going to use basically the bits that are too skinny and a bit awkward for the floor. I'm going to just use on the walls. I just don't want to waste anything at all. Yeah. So they're a bit gnarly and a bit sort of all over the shop, but I think it'd be better. Definitely. So um, that one's going to be cladded. The one behind the fire is going to be... It's going to have a bit of wriggly tin I had left over from the... Um, what's it called? Kitchen. Outdoor kitchen. Kitchen, that's it. Uh, yeah, a bit of wriggly tin. And then I think the other one's going to be cladded. I think it'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 finished putting the wood up on that wall with all the leftover chestnut and now he's working on this one so we can do a strip of wood wall then tin then wood wall yeah I think it'll look good cool. yeah and then clad that one and then it'll be even Stevens yeah man How this looks this is such a cool product this wood wall but i'll get badge to explain about it later because we're obsessed with it um leftover tin from the outdoor kitchen the cladding i think it all just works really well together industrial but chic is that what you said no i said industrial chic industrial chic <laughs>
Hover Air X1, which is the coolest bit of kit. We've actually had it for quite a while because we really wanted to push it to its limits, test it and actually have some fun with it. What really stood out to me with this is the ease of use. I personally am a technophobe, but I have actually managed to work out how to use it within seconds. Next thing was the size. You can literally pop it in your pocket. I am a busy mum of three and I do not have time to start setting up drones and clicking things together. So fold it up and it literally fits in pocket, handbag, anything. The propellers are completely enclosed, which means we can get some wicked shots with the children knowing they're not gonna get tangled up anywhere. Here on top, you have the ability to select any of your flight modes and take off with the press of a button. It has over five different flight modes, so you can really capture those unique shots. You can also use the app to change each setting of the flight modes, the distance, the duration, etc. Also, they are constantly updating the app. They've recently put on dolly mode and snapshot mode, which are really fun. I personally am so excited about this little gadget because it means that we can really capture building our dream house and the moments with the children in such a unique way. So let's go have some fun with it. Oh, what a machine! It's so clever! Yeah, yeah, right, and like from angles we've never seen before. Let's do more. standing in the middle of our forest. Don't worry, he's coming.
right, so it's time now to insulate this wall. Um, then, that sh pretty much is all the walls insulated in the main living area. Um, and then we can cover it. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day for it. I'm gonna get on with it. Sunlight morning, early breeze Lovers still out, opening Windows whispering our names Inside this first light hideaway Red September, silver dawn Perfect photograph, quiet song Resting in each other's arms With galaxies of fallen stars Hearts beat in unison Ours. Let the tides come and go Every moment an afterglow Excuse me, Beatrix. <laughs> Pudding's not allowed on there. Well, she is. Because <laughs> you've let her on there. Yeah. <laughs> she leaves me mystified. Breathing in the quiet air. Untold stories still to share You're the flame inside my heart Love like two eternal sparks Hearts beat in unison Eyes wide open to like one Far. And right now the sun is ours Right, so insulation is done on that big wall And right. we're going to cover it in wood wall Wood wall, yeah ma'am uh, I hate plasterboard with a passion <laughs> um, And also it's not breathable So on the main house we had to find a board Wood wall That was breathable and you could put lime based products onto it so this is acoustic to stop sound. It's slightly insulating as well because it's wood, so it gives you a little bit up rating on the insulation. It's fire retardant, so it, you, they, they burn it. It will like singe, but it will never set fire. Um, and it's also water resistant. So it's like a mega product. It's a magical product, which And it's is a amazing. byproduct of, of like joinery shops because it's just spiralized wood wool. Yeah, so it's, a, it's sustainable, it's sustainable as well. Sustainable as well. So I love it. It's amazing. It is amazing. And I can't wait to see it up because we're in here. We're going to not render it. We're just going to leave it as it is. Yeah, so. and have it as a bit of an experiment because this is we're going, to, we're going to use this inside as well as outside on the house. Yeah. So I, I really like it. I like the way it looks. I do. It's cool. But yeah, so I'm going to get it on the wall. Lovely. I can't wait. <laughs> the other good thing is, is it comes already kind of painted. So we don't have to paint this wall, which will save us a lot of money because paint is expensive. The other great thing is you can just use all your woodworking tools. 
Yeah. Just shing, jump's good. <laughs> Again. <laughs> to be done. I've done it again. Badger. <laughs> I keep doing this. What are you doing? I keep forgetting the board. That bit's bigger than the board. So I need to put a flat bit on it. <laughs> so it's not my day. It's actually what I did on the outside. Shall I just put you on time lapse and not follow you around with the camera? <laughs> so you can concentrate. I don't mind. I'll just <laughs> mess it up. I'm sure you'll reuse it somewhere else, eh? Well, it's shorter as well. Did I just pick up a random piece? What? What's going on? You okay? I don't know. <laughs> because I'm shorter, I'm getting rid of that. That's obviously some sort of jinxed piece. <laughs> Um, so obviously we've got the tin behind the fire. Yep, yeah, just making use of everything we had left. These were all the odd like, bits we couldn't cut into planks for the floor. Um, so we're just trying to use everything. It looks super cool though. I love the way the wood wall looks with the metal and then we've got the cladding. Which and then is... there's little gaps here, which I'm sure people will notice on both sides. But we're going to build a box to go around here. So the box will come to here. Like that. And, and then that round will... the... Cover up our tyres. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a usual thing having a living room, is it? A couple of car tyres. <laughs> Left a nice big gap here behind the fire so we can actually use it to dry stuff behind. And we got lots of comments about the placement of the stairs and the fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> we actually only put the stairs there to test them out. They're not staying there. They are going on this bit up here. Um, so yeah, that was just a little test, test place. It just could only go to bed on the fire, got that. <laughs> yeah. We need to do 17 and 17. And then we need to draw a line. I here. can draw a line. We can draw a line. It's got to be against. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Really gently, so like, like that. Can you okay. do it? I'll hold this still. Come on in. Here? Yeah, against, all the way down it. Against it. Oh, sort of touching this. That's it. Well done. There we go, look. Now we need to go 17. No, it would look this way. Oh, it's done a bit. And we need to go. Can you remember this number for me? Huh? Can you remember this number for me? Uh, 13 and a half. Yeah, 13 and a half. What was it? 13 and a half. 13 and a half, okay, there. Like that. 13 and a half. Then we need to draw another line from our 13 and a half to our. Yeah, hang on, let me cross there a bit, like that. Right. Can you draw it? I'll hold it, yeah. don't, don't kneel on it. And then on this side, look. This side? Yeah, touching the metal bit. That's it, perfect, like that. Drag it all the way up. There you go. There we go, look. That goes up there. Goes along there. Then we've got our 39. And then what we need to measure this side. Oh, that's Just 
double check it. Measure twice. It's the same Beatrix, measure twice. Cut once. Measure twice. Measure twice. Cut once. Cut once. That's it. Measure twice. Cut once. You ready? Yeah. Then we need to do another one in a minute. Which is from here. I can't see my mark now. Yeah. Your mark? I can't see my mark. Just marked it. Oh yeah, okay. Is it gonna fit? That's the question, Trixie. Is it gonna fit? You think it'll yeah. fit? With all your measurements? Can you give it a go? That's it, that's it. Ready? Let's see. So one of the comments last week was that we don't have a dampener in this flute, which is totally right. Um, because I totally slipped my mind, but the one that came with it, which is this one, which no longer didn't quite work, does have a dampener inside. So when I bought this, I thought, oh, I don't know, I've already got a dampener, but then I realized I'm not using this. So the idea now is I'm gonna cut this section to fit in here, and then we'll have a bit more control over the fire.
Now you can see, we have got a dampener. Fully open, fully closed, put all the way. So I'm almost being this section because this is going to be behind the kitchen. So it gives a better fixing and it's much, much cheaper than the wood wall. Kayla? Yeah. Your labourer seems to sleep. Oh, yeah, she's not very helpful. As soon as you put a fire on, we've got one asleep there and one who won't go any further than a foot away from the fire. Okay. Where are you, sausage? Um, yeah, as soon as you want to get work anywhere, they decide to lie down. <laughs> um, what are you well, doing? I have taken on the challenge of yeah. throwing down your beautiful floor. Yeah. Because. Yeah, I feel like it's a job I might actually be able to do. Yeah, so the nails were split in the ends of the board, so we decided to get some thin-headed screws and pilot and screw them so they're nice and tight. Yeah. But yeah, there's quite a few to do, so... Should I time lapse you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First, I have to drill a hole. Pilot. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, pilot <laughs> hole. Screw it in. Yeah. And then hopefully the floor will stay down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Nice! Look at you! <laughs> I'm over it like a real builder now. Kayla's carpentry channel. <laughs> right, our time lapse, you've got 364 to go. Okay.
Halloween. So close. So close. We got so much done this week. And now we've got the children off for Easter. Happy Easter if you celebrate it. Eat all the chocolate. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun week ahead. Right, we'll see you at the same time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave us a comment and all that jazz because we love hearing from you. Anyway, see you later.